Hello friends, thank you for joining me today. Today I am going to accomplish a long time goal, which is organizing my loose magazine tear out recipes into one place. I've got them strewn around the house, like on my coffee table. I have them in like a magazine holder and I'm never going to make these recipes if I don't have easy access to them in an organized way. You may be able to relate to this. So I have a binder, I have dividers slash pockets, I have labels, and I have reinforced three hole punch lined paper that's left over from my daughter's high school days. All right, let's get started. So here are about half of the magazines with flags and clips on recipes I want to make someday. Here are a bunch of loose tear outs. So many. As I go through these, I will probably realize that I marked and tore some of these out with wishful thinking in mind and it's a chance for me to edit the things that I have already marked. And here we have Clover. I knew she would make an appearance. This kind of thing just kills her. If I'm doing a project, she's got to get into it. Now, here is the reinforced three-hole punch paper. And I know it has lines. It would be nice if it didn't. I don't know if they make this type of paper in just plain white. Um, but we have a supply of this left over from my daughter's high school years and why buy something if you don't have to. So this is the paper I'm going to be using. Scissors, tape, and labels. And I've written down a list of the categories. So I have 11 here, and I believe I have 12 dividers with pockets in this binder. It's not a very fancy binder. Again, it's left over from school days. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first we have appetizers. Then we have salad. Next we have soups. Then side dishes. Then pasta. Meats. And when I say meats, I'm going with beef and pork on that. Because seafood is going to be its own category, as is poultry. Then we have breakfast. Beverages, there are so many great smoothie recipes out there that beverages should get its own category and then sweets if i need to add another category i think i have one or two extra pockets so here are the completed labels and now i'm going to attach them to each of the dividers so we'll start with appetizers because that's what you start with when you eat. I have to decide, do I want it to be this direction or this direction? I think I'm going to go with this direction. Okay. Now for the salads. Soups. Okay, 
So here are the side dishes. Then we have pasta. There's our pasta. After seafood, we have poultry. The nice thing about using a three ring binder like this is if you want to change the order of your uh, tabs, you can easily do that. Um, okay, breakfast. Beverages. And last but certainly not least, sweets. And I have two left in case I need to add another category. Okay, let's get started. So I've got my piece of paper and my first recipe is a creamy chicken and zoodle spaghetti. I'm not going to show you each of these recipes, but I am going to show you my strategy because as you can see, The taro is larger than the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'm going to cut out the picture or a portion of the picture of the recipe. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna cut this much off of the top. I don't need that and I'm going to cut down to here on the side and hopefully that will do the trick and it will fit. If necessary, I can cut some off of this margin as well. So let's see, does it fit? It does, it's a little tight. So I'm going to cut off a little more here without cutting off any of the text. Okay. So now it fits. didn't cut this e evenly. This is why I'm not a hairdresser. Could you imagine me cutting someone's hair? Ugh. They, they'd sue me. Voila, and I will slip it into the pasta section. Here's pasta. And recipe number one for the books.
Okay, so I think you have the overall picture on this. We've got all of our categories, and most of them I have populated. I've got my nice color pictures, the recipes. It's going to take me quite a while to get through everything that I have torn out and to be torn out, so I won't bore you with those details. Um, the nice thing, too, about these pockets is that they are larger than the sheets of paper, so they also act as tabs without having actual tabs. Um, and I have everything in the order that you would organize a meal with appetizers, soup, salad, side dishes, main dishes, and then breakfast and beverages and sweets. Thank you so much for watching my friends. If you're anything like me and you see great looking recipes and you pull them out and then they stack up and then you never make them, do yourselves a favor, buy an inexpensive binder, buy some pocket sleeves, some reinforced paper, and get to work. And make those recipes. Thanks for joining. See you next video.